Hello, it's Ravilda. Today I'm sharing a project that I need for a young boy who really loves Harry Potter. So as you can see, Harry Potter made into a binder. Um, just makes it easier and the things that I wanted to make were just a bit big. So on the front we have the Harry Potter seal, or the Harry Potter, the Hogwarts seal. Um, I don't know if you can tell, it's it's all dimensioned. Um, this was just some that I found on the um, web. I don't remember now, but I, if, I, if anyone wants to know, I will link below. Um, on the side, well, I'll just put it to the, like it is because unfortunately I'm at a different location, so <laughs> I'm making do with what I got. Um, it's a little poofed, and I wanted to add these little charms, so I'm going to take this off and I'll show it to you. It's held on with these little clips, and we have a Monster Book of Monsters and the Time Turner. And these were bought online, so not that I made. But that's just... Um, on a leather bracelet that I cut down so that it would fit the length of the, or the sorry, the width of the book and then held on with the binder clips. Everything pretty much primarily in here is um, from Dreams Etc. from Harry Potter, but other things were taken. Um, there's a, a gentleman who makes some really awesome Harry Potter stuff and I'll include the link to that. Um, this is of course a howler and again there's a whole bunch of different places where you can get the different howler pieces. Um, this is carved together with, um, with a number of different things and then kind of just made kind of switched things up to make it my own and um, fit what I needed it to be. And then some art taken from the Tales of the Three Brothers, just the book, and then cut up and pasted inside with some of the pictures from the book, just to make a nice little book so that it's only the Tales of the Three Brothers. And that's the whole story of the Three Brothers. And let's see, and then we'll just show you, they just made some pockets to hold these. And a little book of spells. It's just the, the different spells and what they do. So just all the different little spells. Kind of cute. And these are just um, cardstock and then pamphlet stitched and with some twine. Okay. Now here we go. So in here I have a map of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And again, this is some art just made into a little pocket. And this is, like I said, a little binder. Works quite well, I think. And again, most of this art is taken from Dreams Etc. And I'll have the link down below. Wonderful, wonderful kit. Let's see. And here, these are the cards from the Dreams Etc. kit. All the different candies. And then this is actually from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter down in Florida. So one of their brochures. For Weasley's Wizard Weezes. And throughout, I took a lot of the images and 3 d them up. I like to do that. So this is actually three layers. Gives it a lot of dimension. It's one of the labels made into a pocket. And then here is one of the envelopes. And in the envelope, if I can get it from under there, this is just a bunch of little things. Um, oops. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my computer. Um, I 
found a whole bunch, just random places, different covers of books. And so just a bunch of the different books. So Hogwarts History, um, I think this is Runes, Advanced Rune Translation, and Foggy in the Future. So just a bunch of little books all in this envelope. And then these are these wonderful little cards. There is actually, um, in the image, there's these little loops. So you can have it like almost like a lan uh, lanyard hanging. But I just took those off and used them as little cards. So, yeah, and that's all from the Dreams Etc. kit. And this is one of the design papers from Dreams Etc. And I just, this was just a, found a image online of a brick wall. And the Diagon Alley, I think again, this is from, I took a lot of stuff from the Wizarding World um, Universal Studios or whatever it is down in Florida. And this was an image they had at the Diagon Alley. And then I used um, some glossy accents to make the Diagon Alley stand out. And this is held down by a magnet, Oop, and it pops up. And again, this is an image from the Florida, and actually it had Wizarding World down here, but that got cut off. And then here is a map. And again, this is from the Wizarding World. And on the other side is just some images of the different potions. And if in the background you hear my <laughs> husband's family is trying to be quiet, let's try to, like I said, I'm not at home. So let's see, this is another page from Dreams, etc. Um, there's pieces, so I just cut it off to use here. And I think the other side is actually this side. And I just made it into little pockets for these cards that are like um, business cards. So Zonko's and on the back it says their address. And so all of these are business cards from the different wizarding world locations. Okay, and then here we have Maker of Fine Zapping Tools. Um, later today we're going to go and, and give this to the little boy, but his mom's going to write in here um, his name. So it's his name one, so that it's like, this is his store. But uh, we'll do that later. And here, these are cards that are labels for wands. So um, elder festral hair and cypress unicorn hair and so on and so forth. I just thought they were really cute. So they're all here on a little bull clip with one of the Tim Holtz. And then in here is a little paper again from the Wizarding World page with all the different wands for the different characters in the Harry Potter world. And it slips in there. There's actually a hidden pocket here on the side. And here is, this is another page from Dreams Etc zapping wands, invisible ink papers. And so that goes in that little kind of a hidden pocket. It, it will go out of there. There we go. Slides back in there. Uh -huh. And on the other side is the Quidditch world. So in the pocket, let's see, we've got a little sign here. Just a little image that I found and then some cute little images of different brooms and of course the broom servicing kit page daily profit and then here now I, I didn't really necessarily put this in a kind of order he can move these around as he wants um, and I didn't necessarily try to make, you know, like a page for each book or a page for each movie or character or whatever. It's really just what I wanted to capture. 
So this is an image. Um, I think this is one of the design papers. And I just fussy cut out and took, I think there was the, this was here. I don't remember. Anyways, just used the pieces. And then made a little folder. And inside here, this holds the ticket. So I'm going to take that out, but it's the, the ticket for the train. And then on this side, and this envelope is the letter. So that's the Hogwarts letter. It's just a nice little folder. And then that slides in there. Down this side, chocolate frogs. So again, this is a page from the Dreams, etc. And I just made the, so this is, if you squish that down, it's the whole page. And I just made this piece into a little pocket to hold my chocolate frog cards. And made it so that each of them has the descriptions on the back. And they're nice and solid so he can play with them. Try to make everything so it's playable, but um, also fun, pretty. Again, another page from Jim Cetera and a little bookmark of the, uh, what is that, the Ever Lighter or what, a little, and then just a couple of cards with the different sayings from Dumbledore. And then another pages. I wanted to have a few places where he could just add stickers or you know, put something on there that he wanted. And there's plenty of room in the different pockets for more stuff. So again, another page. Fussy cut out to make a little pocket. Or let's see, we got a little thing about the... Oh boy, now my head is gone with that was Mandrake. It's a little Herbology page. And this is the... Chamber of Secrets, Enemies of the Air, Beware. So this is sort of the Chamber of Secrets pages. And it's all tucked down into there. On the other side, it's actually, so when these were spread out, these were two pages. So Fussy cut out the unicorn again for a picture of from the Herbology page, I just love that. And then beautiful artwork. I think this is from the illustrated book, Harry Potter. Let's take that. Another page from Dreams, etc. Again, made into a little pocket for my favorite character, Gilderoy Lockhart from the Daily Prophet, and then I had to. This Somebody put together all the questions from Gilderoy Lockhart's test. I just love this. So that's in there. Um, homage to Chamber of Secrets. So we have the Weasley's Clock, some Spello tape, the Chamber, the Flying Car, and of course the Willow Tree. And this is another page from Dreams, etc. Again, just made the two sets of stairs into pockets. So a pocket there and a pocket there. And then here is the Daily Prophet page with Sirius Black. And this is the letter informing Harry Potter that um, he used his wand to blow up his aunt. <laughs> So, and that's in there. And another page for uh, the Prisoner of Azkaban. So we have the night bus, the hippogriff, and the dead dudes. Boy, the name just went out of my head. Boy, I'm not supposed to be a Harry Potter lover. I'm terrible. This holds my moderators map. 
and there are so many tutorials and printouts that you can make online for this. So I'm not going to open it all up because, of course, you know, it's huge and cumbersome, but it fits nicely together. Yes, it does. <laughs> and this is just a little pocket I made with some magnets to nicely hold it in. It wasn't there. And then this, it's going to be hard to do from this angle, is the marauders so mooney wormtail padfoot and prongs and each of the, the images say what he, um, the marauders map said when snake tried to say it so they flip up and so you can read each and um, this is from one of the pages from the dreams etc okay moving on this is another page and I just fussy cut it out. And this, the um, paper in here, like I said, is dreams, etc., but also some scrapbook paper that I had. So Hermione me. So with that, we have a map of Hogsmeade. Divination class. And of course it's with Hermione. And then this is an extra page from the Dreams Etc. kit that I just loved. And of course it has, kind of looks like the Time Turner. It just gives an extra thing to write on or do something with. And then we've got Hagrid. I had a little sparkle to it, but the sparkle seems to have migrated everywhere, which is okay. Kind of looks like he's showering in glitter. <laughs> and this is a couple of Papers, I believe these are from the Wizarding World again. Posters that you can get there. And then another page for the Triwizard Tournament. So we have the cup and the egg and a dragon. And then these are the different names that got spit out from the cup. And of course in the background is the labyrinth. And then the catmint, the catmint, oh, boy, I can talk English. Good. Um, Quidditch World Cup map and just did a Turkish map fold. So tuck that in and it's held down with a magnet. And on the other side is again some things from the Wizarding World that you can get at the park. And I just made it into a little book. And also a ticket for the World Cup. And of course, Ireland and Bulgaria. And now we're moving into the Order of the Phoenix. So this opens up like that. And this is the wall with a number of the different proclamations. And again, that same um, brick wall paper. And again, that's held down with the magnet. And this is awesome. I don't remember where I found this. Again, I believe it's from the Wizarding World. But on one hand, well, here, this side is the old Order of the Phoenix. And then you flip it and you see the new Order of the Phoenix. If I can hold that right. I just think that's really neat how it lines up perfectly. Old world, new world. That's right in there. And now we have... Grimwald Place, and I don't remember, anyways, this nicely popped up in that this is just some art I found, and a whole bunch of daily profits, and tucked behind um, uh, Umbridge, <laughs> is it, again, found those little books, and just front and back so that I could have a little book, and that's tucked into her, and then the different daily profits from that book and since that was the year that the owls were done an owl examination card and this gorgeous page from James etc and tucked in is another couple of bookmarks and then from the dreams etc she had this wonderful big card so that's tucked in there, and another the owl, and then the bookmarks. And then we've got the 
pensive, so here we are on the sixth book, The Half-Blood Prince. So we got the cave, the pensive, Dumbledore's grave, um, the point where he was getting thrown off the balcony. And then this is my favorite. So again, um, like I said, I don't remember, his, I'll have a link down below to his website, or his YouTube and you can, he's got all kinds of amazing things that you can um, use to make great Harry Potter ephemera. And one is Dumbledore's will. And I use, let me see if I get that close and if it will, please be nice to me. Nope, it's not going to be. But um, I have a great uh, wax stamp, which is a star and a whole bunch of stars and moons, really pretty. So, on the door as well and then that's real black seals and then Dumbledore's army and this is hilarious it's a sort of a Tom Morvo the Whittle and then different permutations until he gets down to I am Lord Voldemort really really hilarious there. Come on, be nice to me. There it goes. <laughs> and the will. There we go. All tucked in there. And then last page, the always. And really great art with the Horcruxes. And then some last daily profits. And undesirable and the Rita Skeeter book and another Daily Prophet. And then the back here is a um, kit that I got off of Etsy and I'll have a link down below. Just some beautiful art and just kind of scattered around the last little bits. So that is the whole book. I really hope he likes it. I absolutely love making Harry Potter stuff. So this is like the third book that I've made of Harry Potter. And I really love making them. So this was a joy to make. Oh, oh shoot. I must have missed a page here. This is the Harry Potter song. So these are this from the same kit art. The Hogwarts song, sorry. And then this is from the Dreams, etc. And I just searched until I found... Um, somebody had done a signature of Harry Potter. I just included that in there. So yeah, I skipped a page. Sorry about that. <laughs> and that is the whole book. So I hope you enjoyed. I really hope he enjoys. Anyways, please like and subscribe and I will see you later. Bye.